Welcome to the Ancient Cookware Channel. In this episode, we will show you how the Pomide Ware Pots we sell are made. The Pomide Ware Pots are made in Pomide, Chile, using the region's brownish clay. The process begins by taking dry clay stored in the artisan's workplace and breaking it down into small pieces. The smaller pieces are then placed in a tub to begin the hydration process. Water is then added to the tub. They know exactly just how much water to add. Too little, and the clay is too brittle and not malleable. Too much, and it becomes too watery and won't hold its shape. The artisan begins to soften the clay with his hands and slowly brings the clay back to life. The clay needs to be kneaded, much like you would knead bread. The kneading process is back-breaking work, but it needs to be done to achieve a smooth texture to the clay. Eventually, the clay takes on a lighter color and becomes malleable. Here the artisan is showing us what he needs to produce his pots. The clay, water, a fishing line to cut the clay, a spatula-like piece of metal used to lift the clay, and he also uses a piece of rubber. This one he fashioned from an old pair of flip-flops. And of course, his potter's wheel. The artisan begins with a piece of clay and places it in the middle of the wheel as it is spinning. After making sure it is centered correctly, he wets his hands and flattens out the piece of clay, adding more water if needed, and lifts the side with the metal spatula. He forms the pot using his rubber piece to the desired shape and makes sure that it is of the correct size and shape, then smooths the outside and the rim. When finished, he simply uses the fishing line to cut the piece from the wheel, making the process look so simple. Once the pieces have dried, the artisan burnishes the pieces by applying an agate stone to the outside of the spinning pieces. Trays and platters are not made on the potter's wheel, but rather by building up the sides on flattened pieces of clay, which form the bottom of the pieces. The process is basically the same as with the wheel, having to trim the clay and burnishing it with the agate stones. The final stage of production is the firing process. The artisan loads the pieces inside a wood-burning kiln. This process is normally done at night, so as not to be too hot for the artist. The fire is lit on the bottom, constantly adding wood so as to reach the appropriate temperature. After the fire is burned for a while, the artisan also shovels hot ambers on top of the kiln, which is covered with a metal top. As the fire burns, the heat, fire, and smoke travels up into the kiln where the clay pieces were placed. The fire and smoke penetrate that clay, leaving the irregular patterns of smoke depending on the position of the pieces on top of each other. Eventually, the clay pieces become red hot, glowing in the night. The following day, after enough time has elapsed to allow the clay pieces to cool, the kiln is empty and dusted to remove the ash from the fire. And that is how the Pomideware pots we sell are made.